hello guys this is Mao and in this video I will show you how you can create a Google Tech Manager account and create a Google Analytics account then you have to you will be seen that how you can connect your Tech Manager with your Shopify store and how you can connect your G4 with Google Tech Manager so let's get started first of all you have to search on Google Google Tech Manager then we have to open Google Tag Manager from here and you have to search on new tip Google Analytics Google Analytics Then you have to select your Google account. So start measuring. We will set it later, okay. First of all, let's do with the Google Tag Manager. First of all, you have to click on create account. Then you have to put your um, put your account name here. Okay, let's give a name. Twenty one December. Container name. Browser. Then you have to select website. Then create. Then I will. I also accept. Then yes. So our tag manager is ready. So first of all, what we have to do, we have to connect uh, our tag manager with this Shopify store, and we have to enable data layer. Okay, to track with J4. So let's get started. First of all, what we have to do? We have to do we have to go to our store backend, then online store, then theme, and we have to edit our theme, edit code. Then we have to get a snippet from here. Then we have to click on add a new snippet. Then a snippet name should be this one and click on done. Then we have to put uh, put this code here. This one and if you need this data layer code you can contact me just comment uh, comment here and i will give you okay just you to put this code here then save and this is data layer code okay and we have to paste another code on theme.liquid and this code should be here after head tag start so you have to put a new cut here okay so you have to change the gtm num uh, gtm code and we already have a gtm copy this one and you have to change it from here okay then save and one more thing we have to do we have to go back and then setting from setting you have to go to checkout from here and then you have to go to add order page status then click here and you have to put this code there Let's see 
also you have to change the JTM code all from here also. Just change it. Okay. Then save. So just we are uh, enabling data layer on our Shopify store and now we can check that it's working or not let's click on view store and this is our data layer checker and you can see DOM is fired and DOM is ready and the team is already loaded and if we want to check with tag assistant just enable it and reload it okay and you can see here this tag is working now what we have to do we have to connect our g4 create a g4 account and then connect with our tag manager okay so let's put a name 21 december that's a name as you want next then property name 21 anything you can put here country currency and time zone you can change it as your requirement okay next then industry category business health home and garden small next anything as you want to track just click accept scroll down and accept accept and we have to create our get data stream so click on web then put your store link here just paste it and cut this 21 just create a stream so our measurement ID is ready and we will be needed this one now copy this measurement ID and go to your tag manager then add a new tag click here click on google analytics go to tag manager then you have to put your measurement ID here and then triggering all fields that's it for all fields tag save Now if we publish it now our analytics is connected with our store okay. Let's check with tag instant. So here we have we can see our analytics is working or not. Okay, tag manager is coming but analytics is not coming so let's check it again we can check it from here next next continue to home then save <laughs> then you have to click on admin data display then debug view you can check it from DYB that your website is uh, working or not so preview it copy the website URL then paste it on here then enter so you can see tag extent is connected okay so you can see all are working here and also you can see it here you have to wait few time here then you will see it you can see 
it's working you can see view item add to card is here add to card and view item so it's working and you will see it here no problem after a few time uh, after a few time you can see it here no problem so if you have any question or any doubt you can comment me or if you need any kind of tutorial you can contact me no problem i will do it for you so in this video that's all bye bye